Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful sunshine bikini top. I use Alisa Diva Stretch for this project because I like to use this yarn for swimwear. This yarn is just super perfect for going to the water and dry pretty, pretty fast. I really love this yarn for yeah, swimsuit, swimwear. I have also a video showing you I swim with this yarn in, in Thailand. I put also the link for you in the card up here and also in the description box below. And look at that, I also make a tassel. You see the bag you call tassel? <laughs> I don't even know how to call. I made this for the very first time actually and I show you how I do it as well. But today the video tutorial is kind of vlog side because I want to take you along with me in La Palma. I hope you will enjoy this style of video as well because this is what I'm going to make more and more teaching you how to do things and sharing with you my life journey and to show you how to make beautiful things everywhere I go the inspiration that I get from nature from our beautiful earth yeah I am so ready to travel this amazing planet and I want to take you along with me I hope you enjoy this journey as much as I do. Alright, let's get started into this tutorial, this vlog, these beautiful days in La Palma. Good morning. Uh, it was so nice that I published the video last night because, I, like I told you, I have been filming and deleting all night long. And yeah, I think part of me really wanted to to just publish that one and today I woke up very happy like I feel good that I did it and last night the Coco cat stayed with us until in the morning that was so sweet oh I'm so in love with her I really would love to have a cat <laughs> and I want to show you also after I published the video I start this cup very very slow because the cat was already here Coco was already here so yeah but I started anyway I combine two colors together I'm just gonna make a really simple bra cup not bra cup the bikini bikini top I hope I can finish it before we go to the beach today we're going to the beach by the way look I wear my Mayada mini crop top with this I got it in the market oh, I don't know I want to show you if you can see it here what do you call jumpsuit so I kind of like wear this jumpsuit with my Mayada mini crop top also it's go very well with BFF bra. I have been wearing a BFF bra, but I have to say it's a little bit cold today. I really hope the sun is coming out and we have the sun when we go to the beach. Yeah, I'm just gonna continue now with this bra cup. So in order for you to learn how to make the bra cup, you're going to learn from my video over here. But here I am the first cup it was too small because I didn't do the measurement and now I have to take it out and redo it again. For you, I would suggest you to watch this video, the video that I just showed you, and you will learn the perfect number how to make the bra cup that fit you because that video show you step by step. I restart later on my cup again and I start with 19 plus 2 because my cup is made out of half double crochet so I do with 19 plus 2 and as I say you have to check the video of how to make a perfect bra cup and you would do exactly the way I do in that video with the yarn that you use because this yarn that I use here is Alisa Diva Stretch and it's fingering wet but the yarn that I use in another video is DK wet however you learn step by step how to measure your breast and no matter what yarn you use you're gonna have the result that perfectly fit your booby <laughs> so if you use um, Alisa Diva Stretch and you have the 
32B, 34B like me, you can start with 19 plus 2. And yeah, the rest you just follow that video. It's very simple. This way you know how to make the bra cup that fit you every time you're going to make a bikini top or any halter top with this cup style. So I succeed with my cup and now I'm going to show you how I make the shell stitch around the cup. I hope you already done with the cup and now we're gonna do this part here the shell stitch but before the shell stitch I also have the net I don't know I will show you I don't know how to call but like kind of the net style just prepare your cup and then we're gonna do the trim together I was on the beach and now I'm gonna show you to crochet from the beach all right so now I'm changing the color I use the green I change three and then I turn my work I then put single crochet in the fifth stitch from from hook you know that one so I chain three and I add single crochet in the fifth stitch from hook now I chain one I skip one and I add the single crochet into the next one So yeah, you're going to repeat this. It's super simple. Chain one, skip one, and add the single crochet into the next one. Sorry for unstable camera because sitting on the sand and trying my best <laughs> to film this for you guys. Okay, so now just Chain one, skip one, and add one single crochet, like so. And I just want to show you quick. I add one single crochet right at the middle of the top corner over there. And it just continue like like I did before, chain one, skip one, one single crochet into the next until the end of the row. And now when I'm done with this row, I chain two, I turn the work and now I begin the second row. The second row, I add one single crochet into the third stitch from hook. And then I add another one single crochet into the chain one space. Chain one. I skip the, the next single crochet and then I add one single crochet in the chain one space. And chain one again, skip the next single crochet and add one single crochet into the chain one space and this second row row two this is what we're going to do we're going to repeat this step over and over again so now we're going to ending this row two so as you can see in my hook, I have already chain one and I'm going to skip the next single crochet and add one single crochet into the next chain one space over there. So I add one single crochet there. And then I'm going to add another one single crochet in the chain two the second chain I mean of turning chain the second chain of turning chain that's how I end row two and now we chain two we turn our work and this is gonna be a last row this is a shell stitch we turn the work and we add three half double crochet into the first single crochet from previous row see and the chain two 
at the beginning this time we count as one half double crochet All right and then we're going to skip the next single crochet as well as the next chain one space and then we add one single crochet and now we're going to skip another two stitch I count chain one space as stitch as well this way is easier so we're gonna skip the next two and add into the next stitch four half double crochet which is now called shell stitch this four half double crochet called shell stitch and then you're going to skip again you have to look carefully either in front of you is a single crochet or chain one space you're going to skip two and then you're going to add after the shell stitch you skip two and then you add single crochet first you have to add single crochet first and then you skip two and then you add the shell stitch again you have to pay attention I say one more time in front of you after the shell stitch or after the single crochet it could be chain one space or it could be a single crochet you just skip two all right like so now you see the next one is single crochet so we're going to skip and skip the chain one space and we're going to add single crochet into the next single crochet like that and your work should be something like this just keep repeating it all around the row Okay, now I'm back to the villa again and the anchor of the camera is not that great but I'm just going to explain to you. Now right after you arrive done with your chair stitch you have something like this and now at the base of the row I would say just add as many half double crochet that look neatly in this point. For me I add one half double crochet at the base part all together 34 half double crochet I spread it out nicely so you have to try if your cup is bigger than mine you just have to try and see how many half double crochet you need to add at this point so yeah I add all together 34 half double crochet for me it's just perfectly flat and not too much and not too less just find the right number for you you can just try and see how the work turn out And here is the tip my last half double crochet I added on the half double crochet of the shell stitch as well so this way I kind of like have a firm cup I just like to do it that way and now we chain two and now we're just gonna add one half double crochet in each stitch across this row is very easy just add one half double crochet on top of half double crochet from previous previous row <laughs> so this row you should have the same number for me I have 34 half double crochet in the first row and this row should have the same so your cup should look something like this by now and you have to repeat everything to create another cup you need to have two cups of course <laughs> to have a bikini top and now when you got two cups then I'm going to show you how to connect both cups together before connecting both cups together you have to find out where is your right side and where is your wrong side I like to connect both cups from the right side the right side meaning that where is you are showing out to the world <laughs> that is the right side and now I just undo the chain one when I finish the cup um, 
I'm going to use this yellow color. I undo the chain one because I'm going to slip knot and do chain two for the beginning. I think if you do just one color, like you're not going to change the color, you don't have to cut the yarn in the second cup. If the second cup is like lay out to be your right side for the first row of under the breast row which is we are doing it now so yeah I chain two to build up the yarn and then I add one half double crochet in each stitch across and in this cup again this row I'm going to make 34 half double crochet before I will show you how I connect it so now just add one half double crochet in each stitch across doesn't matter how many stitches you have, you will have the same number with the last row of your base cup. And if you have the same stitch as mine, you're going to have 34 half double crochet. All right, now I have 34 half double crochet done. I chain three. And now I'm going to connect with another cup. I found a little bit challenge to connect, uh, to hold the yarn, but yeah, it's doable. And now, yeah, I connect with half double crochet in the first stitch in that cup, and then I add one half double crochet again in each stitch across. And again, this cup, I'm going to make 34 half double crochet. So now we have finished the first row and the second row chain two to build up the yarn. Turn our work and now we're going to add one half double crochet in third stitch from hook and one half double crochet along across until you arrive at the middle where you have chain three at the middle. Then you're going to add one half double crochet three times around that three chain. I prefer this way instead of trying to put the half double crochet in the hole <laughs> because I like it this way better. And now you're just gonna add one half double crochet in each stitch across in this cup as well. This is how you finish the second row of this part. And here I add one more row. The third row I used green color and as you can see in the middle, I just add regular half double crochet. So I just add half double crochet across along the line. And now I, in the last stage of half double crochet, what I did is that halfway of half double crochet before I pull through the yarn to finish the half double crochet, I add one more color. I doing this way because I like to have the strap two strands so it gets stronger but you can do just one strand if you want this is the way i like to do this the yeah the strap so i add another strand like so and i just make chain i would suggest you to make 100 chain at this part at this point I did only 80 and turned out to be a little too short <laughs> so 100 would be better so here I want to show you what I did I did the 100 chain and I make this tassel you call tassel <laughs> I don't even know how to call this so I will show you how to make that as well and I will show you how to attach the yarn into the top cup so yeah i just make on the side body and on the top cup so we're gonna do that like that in the other cup just prepare the yarn i use two strands again for more strong and better support so you're just gonna poke your hook into that top <laughs> and uh, slip knot and then you just keep continue make chain I do 100 chain at this point. So I would suggest you to do 100 chain on the top cup as well as the side body. So here we go, I'm done. 
Uh, and here you see I leave quite a long tail of yarn to attach the tassel later, but I end up didn't use that at all. I used the yarn from the tassel to attach with the strap. But yeah, you can just do that and see how you're going to attach the tassel. It's just totally up to you. All methods work fine. Just do what you feel good. So yeah, now I'm just going to attach or make the same, the long chain that point as well. It's very easy. You just slip knot with two strand of yarn again and just do the long chain of 100. Okay, now let's make this little cute tassel here. You can see my one is not that perfect, all right, because this is the very first time. <laughs> and what I did is that I want to have a tassel about two and a half inches length, the length of the tassel. So I just make the paper in that length and then I just take two strands of yarn and I wrap around the paper for 40 times to have the thickness that I like. One thing you got to make sure is that the paper tend to fold up together so you have to kind of like make it flat like that all the time. So yeah, the paper have to be flat. And after you got the thickness that you prefer, then you're just gonna cut it. And now you need the strand of yarn about this length. Then what I do, I just thread with the yarn needle. It's easier to thread with the yarn needle. And after that, I just put the yarn needle through like so and I'm trying to go up to the center up there the top maybe you have a different way to do it this is just how I do it and now you want to make a knot and now you have to slowly put out the paper I did another knot I think a couple knots I do there. I wanted to make sure that it's tight. And now I lay it flat. So need another thread. Now this time I just use one one strand only. Uh, yeah, you just take one strand and you lay your tassel like so. Then you make a knot around that point there. Again, I make a couple knots here because I wanted to make sure that it's tight enough. I turn around as well as you can see. And now I make two knots here as well. All right, now is the time to cut all those loops. You will need to have a sharp scissor i don't have a sharp scissor i just have that one it's work but mm, the sharp scissor would be much better you can see there it's kind of like yeah <laughs> so but you got an idea this is how you have to do you cut all the loops like so and then what i did you see that green strand there i want to make it like invisible so I also use the yarn needle to put the end like I just poke the yarn into the middle of the tassel like that so it's high inside I do it both ends And after that, I just trim the end again and I found out there's some loops that I missed it before. And then I just have to cut through all the loops later on like so. So you just have to check if there's some loops that you not yet cut them apart. Now is the time to do so. And you can see that 
both of the green thread is still there and also trim it out. I wanted to have the end at the same length as much as possible. But again, I'm not so strict about that because I want my tassel to be more natural looking. So this is how my tassel turned out. <laughs> and yeah, there's still some loop that there you can see. So this is how I make my tassel and I'm going to attach this tassel in my strap, I make all four tassel and I attach them all in the strap. So, <laughs> I hope you enjoy this video tutorial. And if you're going to make it, uh, <laughs> just also let me know in the comment below what color you will use. I will do my best. I hope I get the coupon code up for you when you see this video. This yarn is Alice Diva Stretch and I try to get you 20% off from Perfect Yarn. However, just read the description box right now because now I filmed before I asked the yarn company, but I'm pretty sure you can get 20% off. And